All right, my Nassist tent, what is this? Last time you promised that you will help me, but then, against the skin bandits, you kept hiding while I had to fight on my own. What? what Yes, I was able to defeat Seven, yes? Eh, I know you don't have any combat experience. Okay, okay, look, I forgive you this time, okay? Now, my Nasus tent, it is time to capture the great Tin Fist. But we should not get punched by him. I prefer that my head stays on my shoulders. But with my juicy crossbow, das sollte kein Problem sein. Now, watch and learn, my Nasus tent. Hello, my fellow Kanji players, and welcome back to The Collector, episode 25. Also, since it's Christmas today, Merry Christmas, even if this video might come a day or two days later. So, we find ourselves back. What the hell are you guys doing? Can you please stop? So, we find ourselves back in the headquarter of the anti-slavers, and today we're going to... God freaking damn it. Alright, let's try this again. So, today we are going to capture the Great Tin Fist, or at least we are trying to do this. And in the last episode, we figured out that the arms that Tin Fists are using seem to be extremely strong. So, I can't wait to capture this guy. There is just one small problem to all of this. His guards are pretty strong and he himself is insanely strong. So I have no idea how we are doing this, but there is one good thing about this. I have this super heater bow, which does plus 300% more damage against skeletons. So, alright, then we have our crossbow, 29, armor equipment gives us a bit of a penalty, which would be... I guess this one, right? Yeah, this one gives us a bit of a penalty. I can also remove that if necessary. <clears throat> but I can't wait to get this guy. Now, what are we going? How are we gonna do this? First of all, Brook, you gotta move on the outside. I don't think I can use Brook in this one. Because battle-wise, this this won't help. I think I'm just gonna try shooting him and then lure him out. But I'm pretty sure everyone else will charge me after this. I am faster than everyone else, that's for sure. I don't think he has... Does he have prosthetics? I don't think he has prosthetics, no. I think his speed is not the big of a problem. Run speed 24. He has 24 MPH. Okay, never mind. He cannot outrun us. Alright, so <laughs> let's try doing this. Oh my. I don't want to get hit by this guy. Oh god, no. <laughs> oh my lord. Tinfist still after us, good. We gotta keep an eye out for my boy Tinfist. Let me put my helmet back on, they just shot me in my helm. Which is not good. Tinf- no, that's double. Where's Tinfist? Chunky Tinfist boy is still out there. Uh, I don't think this is going to go as I expect it to go. We gotta go engage into combat again and then I'm gonna move away. Oh god, this is not going to happen. Right. This is not going to happen, am I right? Uh, this guy is already pretty strong. Same goes... Okay, this guy is not so strong. I mean, these are the guys I can handle, I guess. Just with a little bit of shenanigans. I do not want to get hit by Tin Fist. Is he, is he there? Where's Tin Fist? Oh, there he is. Tin Fist is there. Good. Very good. Oh my, there are more guards incoming. No! Wait, I have an idea. I guess Brook can handle some of them while I fight Tin Fist. We're doing quite a bit of damage with our bow. Oh, wait, is he down? Alright, we downed one of them already. Very good. I really do not want to get hit by Tin Fist. Okay, meanwhile, Brook, you attack Chomper. He's attacking from behind. Good. Oh, yes, another one down. Good. Okay, he's... God, this is going to take a while. Wait, what's with this guy? What can I... Brook attack this guy, please, so we can then attack Tin Fist. I guess Brook can get hit by Tin Fist once and we see how much damage he does. Because Brook has more HP than I do. I mean, I, I doubt it. I doubt that Tin Fist can one-shot us. Now, this might turns out easier than I expected. Because we always have to keep in mind that 
The anti-slavers don't have that many guards compared to other factions. God, this has 115 dodge. Anti-slavers are hostile. It's fine. Oh no, no, no! <laughs> oh, he nearly got me there. I wanted to help Brook. I guess Brook has to do it on his own then. I mean, no idea what's going to happen if he hits us, really. I can't tell you. We have enough bolts with me? I hope we have enough bolts with me. Oh no. No, 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 no. No, no. Can't deal with a gorilla right now. Come down here. I think Brook won. Yeah, this is a problem. Um, yeah, Brook, go handle the gorilla in the meantime. Oh my lord, Jesus, have mercy. The only good thing is that he doesn't have a lot of dodge. Like, my dodge is higher than his is. By the way, I can remove my helmet then. Oh, wait, wait should I remove my helmet? What, what if I get hit? Will he do... Nah, he, there's no way he does 150 damage, right? Famous last words, anyone? Oh, nice. Yes. Okay, he does 100 damn. Okay. Brooks toughness on 85 and we have 89 toughness. So, okay. He does a lot of damage, but I doubt it. I doubt this is going to be a problem. Okay, you know what? Just for the lols. Nice. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay. It's not that bad. Nah. It's not that bad. I thought he would do more damage, but our toughness is so high with the gear and everything. Oh, down he goes! The Great Tinfist lies before the feet of the Collector. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, let me see now. Okay. 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 Um... Okay, I gotta... I gotta... I gotta check this out, okay? Yes, this is... This is... Uh... Okay, we got 20 more damage. Just 20 more unarmed damage, which in itself is already pretty big. And we got... Wait, that's uh, that that's specialist. So we got... We got around 20% more strength bonus too from these arms. This is uh, pretty good, I'd say. Okay, uh, I'm gonna drop the other arms. I'm not gonna need them anymore. But I take the skeleton arms with me. Well, well, look at my stats now. I mean, dexterity doesn't really help. Okay, where is Tinfist? There we go. Tinfist, come with me. And that's how easy it's done, guys. Well, honestly, I thought this is, was going to be a bit harder than this. But, I mean, I take what I can get. Yeah, he would have been stronger. But this is the problem with martial art. Martial art, I mean, martial art does a lot of damage, but that's what I always tell people. You cannot defend with martial art, and dodging is not that reliable. It's not that insane. Like, if you have 100 melee defense and 100 melee attack and a good Me Too weapon, personally, I think it's stronger. But, but yeah, you know, you know how it is. I, at one point, have to test this out, or I have a plan how I can test this out, let's say it like that. But, you know, let's make it back to base and then we'll see what else we can do. So, there aren't many specimen left that we could get. One of those would, for example, be the Crab Queen. She is still there. Or Ayo and Catlon. We got all the other ones. Well, I mean, I don't know why I was thinking that Tinfist will be such a big problem. Okay, now the pathfinding is going completely crazy right now. So you gotta manually do this. Yeah, let's not fight those here. It's fine, Collector. There's one thing we cannot fight, it's the lasers. I guess a thing we could do, we can now bring Tinfist back. And once we brought him back, we can run down towards the Grab Queen and prepare for next episode. That's a thing we could do. No, that means that this episode will consist of a lot of running. But that's just how it is. Meanwhile, I'm going back here, just double checking, but no one's starving, so that's pretty good. The Whistler's still chilling in there. Western Hive, oh, okay. I mean, I can see why I consider myself enemies, because, you know, there was a problem with the Queen and everything, so yeah. It wasn't my fault per se, she was just on my list of collections I need to get, so don't, don't blame me. Oh, look at the night sky over here. This is a beautiful Kenji night sky. Let's move up here. Why can I not heal him? Okay. No, Argo can, but I couldn't. I don't know why. Okay, I cannot talk to Tinfist. Yeah, he's a masterwork dust code, but there's... That gear wise, there's not really anything I need him to do. Of course, the CPU will stay on him. Well, he's lacking arms, obviously, but... I do not see a reason why I should give him some. 
Okay, let me quickly check for food. Okay. Alright, food-wise, they are all good to go. I'm still gonna go over here and buy a little bit more. I mean, we have quite a lot of money. So that should not be a problem. Okay, this is also full. Never mind then. I guess we have a bit too much. I'll use the storage box up there. There we go. Put the engineer research in there. Bit of food. Because we don't really need that much. The big bolts can go. Yeah, th this should be more than enough food for what we are trying to do. Okay, good. Then... On to the next specimen, which would be the Crab Queen. I have not seen the Crab Queen in this Genesis mod, so I don't know how strong she is, but I guess we're going to find out in a second, or in a few minutes, I would say. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Since we're going for Okran's shield now, we could potentially try out our new arms. What do you guys say? I mean, I know the game is becoming a bit of a problem here and there. When there is... Okay, yeah. That's what I mean. Like, they have crossbows over there and everything. It's... You know... Might be a bit of a problem. But we already punch away some arms. Yeah, there's... There's no way. They have no chance. And yeah, the crossbow guys are a bit of a problem. It, this guy just ran in there. Oh yeah, they have... Oh god. Not all the crossbow dudes. I don't even know where the collector is anymore. Like, oh, there he is. Every hit we are doing is basically a death sentence. I mean, the Inquisitor might be able to withstand it. But for a Paladin, every hit is... It's like... It's pretty much chichi here. But the problem is, like, we are stuck in a dodge loop. As you can see over here. It's basically dodge, 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 dodge. Without getting many attacks in. I mean, sometimes we get an attack through, but that's that's it. So I'd say we are running over there. I could have had like 300 martial art here and like 200 dodge. They would still hit me because that's just how it is. When you're surrounded by so many enemies and you have the times 5 attack slot multiplier, which is basically what Genesis has, it becomes a bit of a problem. Once you start not being surrounded anymore, then, well, this happens, what you just saw over here. Limbs flying away, dead people all over. It's like total carnage. It's like every hit is deadly. Like, let's see how much damage the Inquisitor takes. This, this guy might survive, yeah, because of his armor, but everyone else is toast. It's either a limp lost or dead. <laughs> I'm not trying to destroy Okran's shield. It's just trying to test things out a little bit. All right, let's make it down. Down, down, down to the pits east. I want to say hello to Susa Crab Queen. Yeah, I don't I don't know what they're doing. Like the pathfinding here, it's it's horrible. He went from Okran's shield down to Okran's pride and now he ran back to Okran's shield. I just didn't pay attention for a second and it's just what happened. Oh god, these moments. They make me love Kanji so much. It's like just a night sky and everything. It's... I don't know, guys. It's it's beautiful. Look at this. Just look at this for a second. It's... Oh, beautiful, beautiful Kanji. No, don't go into the acid. What are you doing, Collector? Oh, wait, there's an outpost here. Well, I mean, might as well check the outpost, you know. We are we are not in a hurry anyway. Oh, what's on the inside? There is a small security spider in here, but I don't think it is. Not a problem after all. Do slip it on under that. Very good. I don't know which accent this is. I have no idea. Don't ask me. Please do not ask me. Okay. We're open to all the stages. Hey, storages, I mean. Look at all of these, sir. There are so much stuff in there. I really like it. I really, really like it. Uh, make a new thing. Now, if you would do a normal playthrough and you would care about money and valuables, this storage over here would be really nice. But since we are not in that position, I couldn't care less about all of this. Triple, triple, double check everything. Not much of value in here. I mean, there, there is much of value in here. Not just for the collector. For him, most of the value comes from his specimen. As you guys should know by now. Skeleton bandits, are you guys still alive? I took care of your leader many, many episodes ago. 
Your leader is in my hideout. How I love the pathfinding again. Look at this, guys. Wow. I wanna say hello to a wild crab. I hope I can catch them all. Mm. Oh, the gurglers. What, there are small gurglers? Scrawny gurgler. All right. Oh, these are new ones. Can't say I'm very fond of them. What is this? We have found another outpost. Might as well check in there. What is in this outpost? Please open the gate. Sometimes I think if it wouldn't be faster to just smash it in. I mean, we can see who is faster. Okay. The collector was faster. Hello, what are we having in here? Oh no. A flying security spider. And it's gone. Like I said, if you would be here with a bigger squad and if you re really need all of those stuff. I mean, look at this. These scale repair kits in here, like an edge type 1 weapon. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, I'm still gonna check things out here. What the hell is that? But I doubt there is anything in here that would be good for the collector. Ah, oh, shoot! I didn't expect him to just attack me out of nowhere. How dare he? Then let's say hello to the crab people. There's another settlement here. Uh, are these also crab people? I mean, the crab raiders? Or have they... Okay, it seems like... Okay, the crab headquarter has moved. It might be the settlement over here then. Oh, how I like it. Iron quality? Wait, what? Hold up, wait. There are iron qualities that go beyond 100%? Like... Well, wait, 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 wait. That's, uh... That's from Genesis, right? Alright, I gotta double check this. Like, no way. Look at all the quality. Yeah, there. That this must be from Genesis. I just wanna appreciate how much iron and copper is around here. It's insane. Not only that, I am pretty confident you can... You can put fields down there, can you not? Is it because it's so stony here, you know, because it's not flat? Or is everything arid? Oh, wait, 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 over there. Uh, 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 uh. Over there I saw something. Alright, guys, I just need to check this out for for um, future references, okay? I just need to find something out here. Oh, there we go. Okay, we can... Ooh. Ah. Keep that place in mind over here, guys. You know, there will be future playthroughs where this might come in handy. Yeah, I'm just... Like, we have an iron resource 600%. I'm pretty sure this is from a mod. Yeah, this must be from a mod. Like, look at how fast this goes. I have not checked all the other resources, but... Confident that this is from Genesis. I'm gonna do a double check, though. Because I need to find it out. There's a lost ruin over there. I'm still gonna check this one out. We got time, guys. We got time. Maybe we find something beautiful. Or maybe we find nothing. Uh, well, I saw something in there that... What did the collector just do? He just... He just ran into... What? He just... Get, he just glitched into the water. He just glitched into the water. I don't even know how this happened. I don't even know how this happened right now. Sometimes the game is so weird. <laughs> These iron spiders, like, it, I don't know why. I can't, I can't stand up right now. I need to wait a bit. I told you not to stand up. No, run. Camping bath down here. Sleep a little bit. Who's wandering around here? Brethren of the coast. Okay, pirates. Hey, we are pirates. Oh, my dear little brook is getting shredded. He's healing so fast, look at this. He doesn't even care because his healing is amazing. Oh my, he stands up, instant down. Stands up, instant down. Uh, are you freaking kidding me? Where did the freaking beak thing come from? Oh, we are... Are we close to... Okay, we're close to Green Beach. I've never actually settled in Green Beach either. But since it's called Green... Okay, 90... But wait, isn't it better over here? Yeah, it's even better over here. Like, we could... Oh... I'm just, I'm just, in my head, I'm currently just making a base here. You can make walls down here, make a water gate, you know, walls here, here, water gate. Headquarter here, 
Or we're gonna place our headquarter in here and the farms. Oh god, alright, alright. On my head, it's already working, it's working, it's working. Oh yeah, for future playthroughs. Future playthroughs, guys. Chill out, chill out. It would be really cool if we can make a base in here, but I don't think we can. I'm sorry for changing my accent. What the hell? The black beards, well, more like the dead beards. Ha! Got him! Hey, you guys started this. Don't be sorry. But these guys are quite tough. Like 50 toughness. Oh, that's pretty strong. It's not my fault, it's their fault. So, okay. Let's move over there. Where are all these spiders? Where did the spiders go? Yes! Yes, nice! Good job. Oh boy, there we go. Are we faster? Are we faster since we got the dexterity boost? Because usually dexterity should not affect martial art. But this could have been changed by Genesis. <sighs> yeah, like I said, usually when you go in here and you're poor or you have a bigger squad, you're so happy because you can make so much money. But for the collector, it's just, you know, it's not worth it. By the way, the next playthrough we are doing um, will be a playthrough where I'm not utilizing trading. So we are going to craft everything for ourselves. This is the next playthrough. Uh, I already know what I want to do, but it's the bigger playthrough, right? It's, it's not like, for example, the collector is a small one and then we have the big ones, the big series. But right now we have the Slave Rebellion. Obviously, this will be finished. But... Uh, after that, I already know what I want to do. It's something I wanted to do for quite a long time, and I have now written the story in my head and everything, and it's, this is going to be really amazing. Sleeping bag, there we go. Now, we are running towards the settlement now. I just wanted to check out what's over here. I know that there is a lot of iron, a lot of copper, and a lot of farming tools at my disposal now. Yeah. The more I look at the copper and iron mines, I am confident that this is from the Genesis mod. So don't be fooled by this. I mean, I've never checked resources out. So, I've never checked out the resources here in the pits east, but I... I don't see why these should have so much more than other things. There we go, so this must be Crab Town, right? We already see crabs in there, good. Crab Raiders, nice. I would say timing-wise, this seems to be pretty good. I've been recording for an hour. Perfect. Yeah, look at this. They moved Crab Town over here. What do I think about this? Do I like it that they moved it over here? What the hell is this? Look at the stats. Oh my, that thing is... Poo, baby. The ancient crab. My, my, my. Now, before we end the episode, I just want to check out the HP. Of the Crab Queen, or not the HP, but the stats. Right, the stats of the Crab Queen are... She has robotics. She has... Ro she has fifth... Oh my god. She has robotics that buff her by 50%. Like, 100% in total, 50% each arm. But I'm... Does she have a... Is this a claw? Wait. Does she only have one? That's a... Wow. Okay. I guess we're going to find out in the next episode then, are we? Anyways, guys, then I want to say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I do see you in the next one. Goodbye.